Hi, this tutorial will show you how to use the new and improved write feature inside Paperpal. If you are beginning on a blank document, you can simply type in the free text box to get ideas and inspirations or use any of the custom presets that are provided over here. Even better, with the new write feature, you can now upload a PDF file, a docx, an excel sheet that might contain your notes and references and use that as a starting point to guide the AI to generate content that is extremely specific for you. Here I have an Excel sheet of a literature matrix of two papers. I have some notes from the papers. Let me show you how to use that as my starting point. I simply attach my notes and I can type in write a literature review from this notes or I use this particular option. It automatically provides that option. You can tailor the prompt further as per your requirement or simply click enter. What happens in the background is that the document is read, the content from the document is read and understood by the AI that passed the right feature. And then it goes ahead and provides a literature review based on the content that you have provided in your notes. As you can see here, the literature review is being provided. You can also see that certain in-text citations and references are also provided. Worry not. These are not the AI references being hallucinated. These are actual references that are present in my notes. With the new write feature, you now have the ability to provide a follow-up instruction to modify the original output. What do I mean by that? If you wish to make this output more concise, you can now do so by clicking on this button or by typing in a custom instruction. Let us go ahead and make the output a little concise. The previous output will be taken into consideration and a concise alternative will be provided. Here you can see that the output has become more concise. So that is how you can use a new write feature on a blank document to get started with your writing if you are using your own notes, using your own references. Now let me show you how to use write to continue writing when you already have some text present. Ex with the existing write, all you had to do was place your cursor at the end of the sentence after which you wanted inspiration. The experience remains the same. However, this new feature is powered by an improved version of write. All you have to do is place your cursor after the sentence after which you need some inspiration. You can select any of the custom preset buttons that are shown on the screen. For example, let us say keep writing. What happens is the text before the cursor is taken into consideration and the next few sentences are generated for you. As with the existing write, users are provided with three outputs which you can toggle and choose between. Here's the AI generating the output for you. It generates about three to five sentences based on the existing context. As you can see, you have an option to choose from any of the three outputs. If you're, if you're unhappy with the current output, you can also make it, let's say, modify it further. For example, you can make it more concise, you can expand it further, or you can give a custom instruction based on your requirement. So that is how, with the new write, you can continue, continue to keep writing based on the existing behavior, that is, after placing your cursor at the required location. With the new write, we have also provided another way of accessing the feature. You can access the new write feature via text selection. You can select the required text, click on the blue zap icon that appears, and then click on tell Paperpal what to write. Here, you will be navigated to the write feature in the sidebar. Here, you can type in your instruction or use any one of the custom presets that are provided over here. Let me type in an instruction saying, Write a limitation section based on this text. The question will be read. The selected context or the text that you have made selected, that will be read. And then a limitation section is provided for you. You can review the text, read it carefully, and if deemed appropriate, you can use it in your writing. So that is how the new write feature helps you continue writing based on existing on-screen context. If you wish to start a new conversation, simply click on start new. Or if you wish to make the output, modify the output even further, you can give that instruction right here in the free text box. 
or make a selection from the custom presets. With the new write feature, if you already have on-screen text present, you can simply go to write and then start typing in your question. For example, the entire on-screen text will be read. And if I say something like write a conclusion, this instruction will be read and the entire on-screen text will be taken into consideration and an output will be generated accordingly. So that is how with the new write feature, you can continue writing irrespective of if you're in a blank page or if you have some notes that you can use to start your writing or if you already have text and want to continue writing or if you have some questions based on existing text that you wish to modify further for your writing. So go ahead, try the new write feature today and don't forget to give your feedback.